You had two two hips. Two hips then, yes. Yeah. And you had them about four weeks apart. They were uh, June and uh, July of last year. Literally four weeks apart, yes. The uh, operations, yes. And tell us a little bit about your your sort of physical state before you had your your operation. I mean, tell us a little bit about your mobility and, and pain, well, etc. Uh, as a child, I had uh, rheum rheum rheumatic fever, and I think uh, these. This is uh, uh, osteo. What do they call it? Osteoarthritis. Osteoarthritis. No, uh, arthritis. Yes, yes. And some of the pains that uh, you get as you get older seem to be magnified <laughs> until you're a whinging old person. <laughs> yes. So uh, you can get fun out of it, actually. <laughs> You're in a reasonable bit of pain. Um, how about walking? Was, was, was walking proving increasingly difficult? The, the, the walking has improved tremendously since uh, uh, the operation, uh, in as much as uh, I have more energy to, get, to get, do it. And I do think it's one of the best exercises you can get in as much as uh, I, I walk uh, like I was marching with the toes thrown up, like you would do at a, a funeral, the slow march. Uh, but I can do it as quickly as anybody else <laughs> can do it slowly. So uh, those sort of exercises are included in your repair job, getting the thing working and uh, uh, happy with it again, and I must say that uh, it's rather nice to have somebody like Mr. Monk to have complete faith in what he does, because I think uh, this helps a great deal in as much as you know you're in safe hands and you know that you're going to get the best job done. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, quite, it's quite important, I think, uh, to be able to lay back and say, well, okay, fix it. Yeah. And how did you come across Mr. Monk and the... It was through my daughter, who has medical friends uh, where she is, she is in, in Derby, and uh, they are family friends in as much as uh, their children and her children meet and, and play. And uh, they said, if you want somebody to do that sort of job for your dad, try and get hold of Mr. Monk. And he was uh, quite pleased to be, uh, or I was quite honored, <laughs> I should I say, uh, to have him sort of do the job, and the um, uh, the whole thing was carried out in such a manner that I just relaxed and let it let it, let let him get on with it, knowing very well that I was going to be at, at least out of pain when it was all over. Uh, my advice to anybody who wants them done is to get them done and to get them done by the best means possible. And I, I, I would say that uh, Mr. Monk, in, in my case, was the best person I could possibly have had. Uh, and um, he did a very good job and has sort of given me a new spate of life. I also thought that because of my age, he might say, well, you haven't got long, have you? <laughs> sort of thing, why don't we not bother? Because it's quite a big operation. But no, they are going to uh, uh, repair as, a, as I know they are, and I will be able to enjoy the rest of the um, years I have, which I'm sure is will be elongated um, in as much as it doesn't take long to get to 100. <laughs>